Hey, Vasant here. In this video, we'll look at the new banners, Epitome Invocation, and Sparkling Steps. Yeah! Alright, so if you guys have been playing Genshin, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the in-game notice about the new event wish for Sparkling Steps and Epitome Invocation. We have character banner here, right? For Kali, Shinkyo, Sucrose, and Noel. And these start on 4 p.m. Pacific time on October 20th, 2020. And ends at 3.59 p.m. Pacific time, November 9th, 2020. And it's pretty much the same for both banners here. They have the same start time and end time. Uh, most likely it's gonna be like the Venti banner where 50% uh, chance of getting Kali and then if you um, If you don't get Kali the first time the second time could be guarantees and then pretty much the same things for these and They're both gonna have a huge drop rate boost um, Same things for I'm assuming same things for these weapons as well. We have the lost prayer sacred winds and the wolf gravestone and then the sacrificial weapons and then there is no sacrificial Whole arm, but there's the dragon bane as the as the substitute. Um, we'll go over these in just a bit. Uh, we'll go over the weapons first, and then we'll go over the characters. All right, so let's start with the four stars. We'll go with whatever I, I have here, and then we'll go jump over to the website, which is for the ones I don't have. We have the sacrificial weapons, the catalyst, the bow, the great sword, the sword, and then we have the dragon's bane. All the sacrificial weapons have base attack and then the substack adds elemental mastery and the ability is after damaging an opponent with elemental skill. The skill have a certain chance to reset and then it can only occur after X seconds. Of course as you get higher it will become better than 30 seconds and 40% chance. And let's start off with some of the uses that you can do with these weapons. For the book necessarily there are way better options so you probably don't even need to consider the book if you get it there are like way better options out there uh let's see i have the great sword here this one is good for chung yun for example when you want to build him as support you can bring out the cryo field uh, as much as you can uh, if you don't have mass for DPS and such like that, you can build him as a port and use the Sacrificial Great Sword. I have the sword as well. Sword is ridiculous on Chi Chi. I don't know what else you can use it on, but on Chi Chi, her, her, e, her e skill, which is the elemental skill, summons uh, a field around her, like Barba, you know, with her songs of lullaby for heals. Her kind of attacks uh, the around her so I, I believe that procs this so I have a higher chance of actually doing this and she's healing at the same time so it's pretty ridiculous for Chi Chi. Fisher Bow? Useless don't worry about it. <laughs> Dragon Bane is good for Shang Li here she's the only polearm user right now and this is the weapon for her. Increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro and Pyro which is Pyro which is her and then the subtitle Elemental Mastery is completely great when you're running her support and everything it's like the weapon for her so it makes sense. <laughs> All right, the five star weapons. Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. It's a catalyst. Its ability is increases movement speed by 10%. When in battle, gain 8% elemental bonus every four seconds. The maximum of four stacks. So as you leave it out, oh, keep getting buffer and buffer. It's a pretty solid book for catalyst users. If I have to say, if, especially if you want to go a crit build. And then we also have Wolf's Gravestone, one of the best claymores out there. It has a secondary type of base attack and ability just this alone got me like damn increases base attack by 20 percent and then also on hit when you attack enemies with less than 30 percent hp all your party members get that buff of 40 percent buff on base attack for 12 seconds so you can destroy them even more <laughs> all right so let's try to summarize this so two of the five four stars are pretty bad the book and the bow you don't pretty you pretty much don't need them but we do have an awesome five star claymore and a pretty solid book so unless you really want to max out your sacrificial weapons or dragon's bane um you can go for it chances are a little bit better than a regular one regular banner for summoning a weapon like it's only slightly better though 
And if you really want to min-max your main DPS, if your main DPS is a Claymore or a Catalyst, you can probably go for it. But in my opinion, I would rather save, maybe get a character. It's much more exciting that way. And um, these are actually in the regular banner as well, so you might get them anyways. So, yeah, we'll move on. We'll talk about the character banner. Let's go. All right, so let's start with the four stars. Shin Kui here with the Guhan Geek. Um, apparently, unfortunately, he's on expedition, so I can't show you guys his gameplay um, on my side here. But we have the skills here, which he does two strikes, and he uses some rain swords around him. He does kind of a flip at the end, which is pretty cool. And those rain swords actually reduce the damage that you take. Uh, Twenty percent of hydro damage that you have on you will be converted into the, the damage reduction, and then you get like three swords. And then it makes you wet. Then we have Rain Cutter. Rain Cutter activates uh, pretty much like a aura around you. Kind of. But then it's most like that when you do a normal attack, uh, you have like three swords that come out and just keep hitting. So you can do that while you're swapping the characters, which is pretty nice. And then we have Hydro Pathic, which uh, allows you to heal when you actually have your Rain Sword Shatter. You heal it, kind of heal it back up. And it just straight up increases 20% Hydro damage. And we have this, which is pretty nice. The talent materials, when you craft, you get 25% uh, refund. A part of it, you get refund. Let's quickly go over the constellations. So we have Rainstorm increased by one, straightforward. This one increased the duration of the elemental bursts. And then every time the sword rains uh, from the elemental burst, you know, when the normal attack, the sword rain comes down, hit it. Uh, Lower the resistance so you can do more damage to it. This one just pretty much leveled up the, the skill for elemental burst. This one's elemental skill. Then we have during that elemental burst, the elemental skill will do 50% more damage. Here, activating the two of the sword rains, well, the third one will hit more because it does three swords that come out and hit during that elemental burst. And then while the sword ring hits, um, it gains three energy. So you can pretty much charge it up again and do it again. All right, to summarize this Ju Hong Geek here. <laughs> He's a pretty solid character, uh, pretty solid support. He very synergizes with a lot of characters, like with Chengyang, for example. You can pair him up very well with that and start freezing enemies. You can pair him up with uh, any Electro character and just shock everything. So he's pretty good with synergies, for sure, and elemental reactions. All right, Noel. She's on a beginner wish, so most likely you have her. But let's quickly go over skills. So her breastplate skill, she does like a stomp thing, and then hits surrounding enemies with geo damage, and it creates a shield around her, and then the damage absorption is based on her defense. And she does a normal charge attack, have a chance to regenerate HP, which also scales by her defense, and she can soak up 250% more of the geo damage compared to her regular damage. Then we have sweeping time. I like to call it the Ragnarok. She summons the Ragnarok. You get a big ass sword and sweep the whole area with a normal charge attack. It becomes geo damage as well, and her attack increase based on her defense. Then we have devotion when she's in the party and not in the field. Uh, when the character drops below thirty percent, she creates a shield that lasts twenty seconds, absorbing damage equal to four hundred percent of her defense. Now, nice and clean. Every this is pretty nice. Every four normal attack, charge attack, it will decrease the cooldown of breastplate, so you can pretty much do it again. We have Maze Knighthood, which is when she's doing perfect, perfect cooking when doing defense boosting dish, 12% of getting double the product. Alright, let's so quickly look at the constellation. So, we have this this one, Sweeping Time and Breastplate. You know how when you're in the breastplate, uh, when you're attacking characters, enemies, you have a chance to heal. This one pretty much guaranteed that you heal. And that heals your party too, by the way. Then we have combat made. This pretty much decreases the consumption of your charge attack, so you can charge more. You can keep spin the wind, guys. And it'll increase the damage as well. This one just increases the, the scaling for breastplate. And then we have this one. When it expires or gets destroyed by damage, it'll do an AoE based on your attack. Nice, so uh, this one does scale on attack. Then we got this one which increases your, your level by sweeping time by three. This one though, sweeping time increases normal attack by additional 50% of her defense, so the it's like double your attack based on your defense, so it pretty much combines them into one, which works out with this since you got this before that, right? So this can pretty much 
can just nuke the area around you when <laughs> when your shield is gone. Just and every enemy defeated by the skills, so you can pretty much just keep that sweeping time moving up to ten seconds, so you can make it pretty much last longer. All right, so I pretty much think that Noel is like an all-around character in a way. She's pretty good as a support as well, um, but she kind of needs the constellations, at least the first one, just to make uh, that consistent. Kind of run like a DPS healer kind of thing. Um, she does get super good at SC6, but who doesn't get good at SC6? A lot of the characters get good at SC6, but she's pretty solid. She's a good choice, she's, and she's a claymore. She can break rocks and stuff. Nice, bro. All right, I don't have Sucrose, so we're gonna go over the alchemist over here by looking at her skills so a stable amino hypostasis is her elemental skill and she pretty much pulls them in and then launch them in the air you can juggle them right <laughs> summons a wind spirit that does that and then her elemental burst forbidden creations summon the large wind spirit that actually persists and then just keeps sucking them in and then just shooting them back out doing aoe animal damage uh both of these do that and we have the passive talent, so when they activate a sword effect, all the characters in the party that have that matching element will have their elemental and mastery increase. Kind of like a support thing, right? And the passive talent too, when it hits it with either her for elemental burst or elemental skill, increases all party members, except Sucrose. <laughs> elemental mastery based on 20% of Sucrose elemental mastery. So she's pretty much gonna buff everyone else based on her elemental mastery. So you kind of want to build her with Elemental Mastery because she's a pretty good support working on the synergy and stuff like that. Passive Talent 3, um, when Sucrose crafts a character or weapon enhancement material, 10% of gaining double the product. That's pretty good, right? Talent itself. But yeah, she's a pretty good support character. She can pretty much up your Elemental reaction in your whole party, so which is pretty solid in my opinion. So she's more dealing with Elemental... Uh, reaction so she's the alchemist does it make sense yeah all right in, in case you guys didn't know once you get to adventure rank 32 there is a story quest option down here um and then when you do the daily commissions you once you complete eight of them you can claim a key i have too many keys anyways but there will be minor story quests here 32 adventure rank 34 adventure rank 36 32 actually features Kali. So you actually get to use her in one of the dungeons. Uh, I'll do, we'll show you a video of that later, but we'll go over her skills uh, on the website because, of course, I don't have Kali right now. <laughs> All right, Kali, Pyro, Catalyst user. So we have a Jumpty Dumpty. So Jumpty Dumpty bounce three times. Uh, each time he bounces, does AOE fire damage around the area, and it'll blow up and spout. Mines and then the asshole blows up on contact or after a short period. It starts with two charges, and then we have the elemental burst, sparks, and splash. Summons a, a flower that deals enemies, dealing AoE pyro damage to nearby enemies. We got passive talent when Humpy Dumpty or and normal attacks deal damage. Kali has three percent sustaining as opposed to a spark. The spark is consumed by the next charge attack with no stamina and deals fifty percent. So you no know, stamina, you can keep spamming that. So you can do the move, and then it will cause no stamina, and then you can do your charge attack for free. Uh, and it deals 50% more damage too, which is nice. Uh, and then passive talent 2, when Cleech does a charge attack, result in a crit. Party members can gain 2 elemental energy. So every time you do a crit with your charge attack, um, you can just keep gaining energy, which is nice. So um, these kind of synergize with each other. So you get that... You can get that... Free stamina charge attack and it just go boom, get energy. Also, passive talent, so unique resources and monstat, like what well, wolf hooks and stuff like that. You can see them on a, your mini map. So, we got the constellation chain reaction, attack and skills have certain chance to summon sparks that bombard enemies, dealing damage equal to 120% of sparks and splash damage. So, the skills have summoned to. Some more stuff, which is chain reactions. <laughs> Super nice. Explosive frags. Being hit by Jumpy Dumpty mine increases the enemy's defense. Pretty nice. Then we have the, the simple scaling here. If sparkling explosions, constellation four, if Klee leaves the field during the duration of splash and 
Arcs and Splash, my bad. Her departure triggered an explosion that deals 550% attack as AoE power damage. So when she leaves, her, when she's at the elemental burst, it stays around, right? But then when she leaves, oh. Noble burst, it increases the, the scaling of her elemental burst. While un and then we have the constellation. While under effects of Sparks and Splash, other members of the party will continually regenerate energy. When Sparks and Splash is used, all party members will gain 10% power damage bonus for 25 seconds. Ooh. Alright, so here is Kali. Uh, gameplay that I got from the... When I was doing the story quest. So you kind of see the jump dumpy, the 1, 2, 3. Over the mine, you got two charges. You could just drop them down. Uh, have more mines, you can spread them out if you want or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, Kali is how it's pronounced in the game. And Kali actually means clover. So you can kind of see her moves and her supposed to spark there that's floating around. Uh, shape of a clover. And that's her elemental burst. Uh, you have a clover following you around, but actually that's just like, I guess, an indicator that you have the buff on. Uh, and it'll hone any enemy nearby. It'll, it'll spawn clovers around and then shoot laser beams at them. It's pretty nice. You know, pew, 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 pew. I believe I would do a charge attack here pretty soon. Yeah. I'm in a giant clover and then shoot a giant laser into that area. I try to see if I can like aim it further away, but it doesn't. It's just in front of you. Yeah, there's more jumpy dumpy. I believe I try to do a, this elemental burst here and try to switch right away. Unless you have ascension four, uh, it'll do AOE damage when you switch. Like right there, you can see the the wave come out. Um, just like right there. We'll show you again, and then, um, but yeah, so it kind of reminds me that she should be like a main DPS. If you swap out, then then you lose your your elemental burst. But I guess you can try to time it for the last second, and you can kind of switch and get the maximum time that you can use her. All right, so the Kali banner, you have to take in consideration. Um, how much pulls you have left over for your from the venti banner to carry over because the pity kind of carry over if you didn't hit your 90 yet and How much you really want her because she is adorable and she does the decent amount of damage She is a five star, but you know a lot of five stars are pretty good anyways um, But so you got to kind of look at the four stars um, If you don't have Shinkui or Sucrose their talents alone will probably be pretty good because the, the talent upgrades and the extension materials, um, they help you out when crafting them if you use them as the, one of the main crafters and stuff like that, or alchemists. <laughs> um, if you want to main Noel and stuff, that's a pretty good banner for you as well. I'm going to be doing it because I do want Noel and I don't have Sucrose. I want that, I want that talent upgrade and I do need a, a new animal character right now because I am using the MC as a Geo unit right now. So that, that's what's that. But yeah, take those in consideration. I'll let you, it's kind of hard to decide what you want, but Xiao and Zhongling leak, right? They're pretty sure they're going to come out pretty soon. And Xiao is probably the top DPS. So I don't know if you really do need to summon this banner, Kali, because then I would say for Xiao or Zhongli. Um, I, I think it's better if you're actually aiming for four stars, you can summon for this. Because I'm going to be summoning for this because I need Noel. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys find this video informative and helpful. Uh, give us a like, comment, subscribe. And I do stream on Twitch uh, a lot of Genshin, so follow on there, please. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, we can hang out, chill around, ask me questions. You can ask me there, whatnot. And uh, my socials down below, and I'll see you guys next time. That, later days.